Welcome back. Our player spotlight this week takes one of our linebackers back to Los Angeles where he played collegiately at UCLA. It is Anthony Barr. Anthony Barr, number 55, linebacker. This is my fifth year with the Vikings. And the Vikings just keep on coming. Anthony Barr making contact. Anthony Barr is playing lights out at outside linebacker. Hey, blitzing Anthony Barr buries Joe Flacco. And Anthony Barr, one of the best linebackers in all of football, no question. Playing on this defense is a lot of fun. It helps having a, a great supporting cast and all of us pitch into our role. All three levels, the, the safeties, DBs, the line, linebackers. We're dynamic, you know. Ryan thinks about running. Not a good choice as he's taken down by Barr. It's in a group of veteran players that are able to cut it loose. We're doing this now, we five years together, so the communication's there. Number 55, he has really matured as a communicator. You gotta figure out where the, the formation is, is it into the boundary, is it two by two, eye backs, whatever the formation is. Uh, find that, set the front, get yourself adjusted, and then look for motions, look for shifts. Kind of see what the quarterback's doing. Is he communicating? Is he talking? Is he under center? Ready to snap it quick? Get your eyes on your keys and you're ready to go. Those two linebackers, Anthony Barr and Eric Kendricks, that duo is awfully tough. We're kind of interchangeable. You know, we kind of have to do a lot of the same things. Um, but I think. I'm a little better going forward, and he's a little better going backwards, you know, so when it comes to covering, understanding the routes and getting depth and getting the quarterback, I think he does a great job. One of the best linebackers, I think, in the NFL when it comes to that. Um, and then going forwards, I think, as a fifth uh, rusher. Flacco under pressure and going down. In certain situations, I can do that and impact the game a little bit more that way. And that's Anthony Barr. Coach Adams has been, been awesome. I think his knowledge of the defense is maybe second just behind his dad. It's really, um, he uh, does a great job communicating to us what we need to get done. He does a great job scouting the opponent for us to, and then get, relaying that information to us so we can use that to our advantage on the field. And then we have we built a great report, you know, now five years going. Uh, I kind of know what he's going to say before he says it. He kind of understands that. And I kind of can now help some of the younger guys maybe uh, to give them some pointers maybe that he can't give because he has not really out there playing. Favorite play, I think it was my rookie year maybe, played the Lions. It was at TCF Bank when we were back there, yeah. We were kind of in their double-A gap pressure, and they got the back, free released him on a swing pass. It's a screen left to Riddick, caught at the 40. Sweet open field tackle by Anthony Barr. Uh, I had a man-to-man, -man, was able to make the play me off the field on third down. I really didn't know what I was doing, you know, and I kind of just used my instincts and got to the rock. Uh, now as I got older, I realized I could have made that life on myself a lot easier had I put, put myself in a better position. Let's go, man! I love y'all boys, let's go! LB's on three, two, three, two, three. I like playing at home, obviously, you know, having the atmosphere, the, the fans behind our backs. Uh, I think we play great at home. Uh, it's kind of hard to hear sometimes to get that communication after be difficult, but it's more so an advantage, you know. Uh, the offense, I know they're having a hard time here, and uh, it gets, gets us real hype. You know, we're, we're going kind of going crazy third downs. It makes a huge difference for us.